Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, my name is Chloe. You can call me C Shoddy. And for my returning subscribers, I hope you guys are doing amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoy my holiday video. So, before we get started and before I show you the adorable Christmas pajamas I got for Copper and Oliver, I just wanted to say a couple things. The first thing is my hair is brown. I did it myself. Box it eye, baby. Let me know what you think. The second thing is I usually do not get this much into the holidays. Like I'm really in the Christmas spirit this year and I think it's because I think we really need it this year. I know I keep saying it. I'm sorry I keep saying it, but 2020 has been so weird and so difficult and I'm sure a lot of you are still feeling pretty isolated and I'm sorry that we have to go through the holiday times like this but you know we're gonna get through it and you know I sat on my Christmas tree like right after Thanksgiving this is actually the first year that I've even had my own Christmas tree so really moving up in the world <laughs> I also wanted to say Merry Christmas Happy Hanukkah um, if you don't celebrate either of those Merry whatever and if you don't celebrate anything, I just hope you're enjoying the winter season. And I also wanted to say, I know that this can be a really difficult time of year for a lot of people, including myself. It's easy, especially when you've lost someone close to you, it's really easy to get kind of sad during the holidays. And it's, it's just a time of year when we're really reminded who isn't here with us anymore. So if you are going through that, I'm so sorry. And just know that I'm here for you and I love you. And if you ever want to talk, Instagram is the best way to reach me because I usually respond because no one talks to me, so. So today's video, I'm just gonna show you guys my <laughs> Christmas decorations. <laughs> Look what I did here, isn't this cute? My little fireplace. It's, it's a little too warm in Florida to really have a real fireplace. This is a real fireplace. I could I could light it technically if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm not qualified to do that. I've never actually done that. So I just put some lights in here. And yeah, I'm gonna show you my decorations. I'm gonna show you all of the animals. They're gonna say, hi, what's up? We're gonna put the pajamas on the dogs. You're gonna love it. You're gonna freaking love it. They're so cute. They're so, so cute. I'm gonna show you my vegan Christmas cookies I've been working on. Okay, I think I've covered all my bases. Let's get this party started. Oh, hey, Copy. Copy's been having a hard time. He's been really anxious lately, and I'm really not I'm really not sure why because I spend a lot of time at home still. I've been starting to give him some CBD for dogs, and it seems to help, but I don't know. He just really wants to come everywhere with me, so I've been taking him a lot of places, which is probably making it worse, honestly, but that's neither here nor there. This is Oliver. Hey, Ollie, baby. How are you? Look at his tear stains. They're so bad. Um, hi, Matilda. How are you doing, baby? How are you doing, baby girl? <laughs> oh, that face, Matilda. <laughs> Gobby. I'm so sorry. And there's Miss Luna. Hey Luna, say happy holidays to all of our friends. Oh, you guys are crazy. Y'all are crazy. So when I was a little girl, my mom and my dad and I would always make our own stockings and we would like write our names on them. So I went to the craft store and I got, I got one for each of my dogs and cats, each of my pets, and I wrote their names on them. <laughs> I just thought it was so cute. And then I also found these little ornaments and I just got some pictures printed out. And there's one for everyone. I was gonna put the ornaments on the tree, but I think it actually looks kind of cute with it here um, on their stockings, so it's cute. And then they can we can put their gifts inside. Um, this is cool. I got that from Home Goods. If you guys need decorations home goods home goods it lights up i love it it's my favorite and then here we are okay this pillow here is my christmas pillow got some reindeer on there copy likes to lay on it he makes all the pillows dirty it's all good here's my little wrapping station nice little mess um here's my gnome it's cute he's like a calendar 
and he's cute. And I also got him in Home Goods. And then here is my Christmas tree. Like I said, this is the first year that I've ever had my own tree. So I got all these decorations new. And I also started wrapping some gifts. These are for my mom and my boyfriend. And I just think, I just think it really, I don't know, I love it. I really love it. I'm kind of at the point where it's like, I want this forever. I never want that to go away. I'm definitely gonna keep the lights in the fireplace. That, that can be a year round thing, but like, I love the tree, it just, especially in nighttime. Oh, it's so cozy, it makes me so happy. And it's been chilly outside. By chilly, I mean 60, but that's cold for me. And it's just been really perfect and lovely. Also, my grandma gave me this gingerbread doghouse kit. She got them for my little cousins and I was like, oh, can I have one? <laughs> and I just broke it, but it's still cute. This was really hard to do, actually. Really not easy, but it's cute. It's cute. Okay, now let me show you the cookies. Okay, so I started... I started making these cookies. This is my second batch, and, you know, I'm a little disappointed by the way the decoration came out because for some reason... The consistency of the icing, the decorating part, just wasn't right, and I just couldn't get it right. And I don't know why I messed it up so bad. I still have some gingerbread men left to decorate, but the stars and the snowflakes and the trees are done. It takes me, like, an entire day to do this. <laughs> like, it takes me four hours to decorate them, but I think I'm getting faster. I've mostly been giving the cookies away to, like, my friends and stuff. So... Now it's time for what you all came for, the Christmas pajamas for the boys. Are you guys ready to show your pajamas? Are you ready to show your pajamas? Yeah. So I also got these at Home Goods, and it's so funny because there weren't that many sizes left, but there was a, an extra small, which I thought would be perfect for Oliver. And then there was a large, which is a little small on copy. Basset hounds, they just have such weirdly shaped bodies. <laughs> Their bodies are just so weirdly shaped that nothing really fits them right. Like it's always hard for me to get a harness that fits copper or any clothes that we get. It's always hard because they're like loose around here, but they're like really tight around his chest. Okay, so let's get these on. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show you. <laughs> when I found these, it, my literal, my first thought was, my subscribers need to see this. Okay, who wants to go first? Oliver's rearing to go. Okay, little man. Yeah, copy. Honestly, it's cold. Oliver was shaking when he woke up this morning, so it probably will be good for him to wear this. He's a little guy. Hey, don't eat that. What am I doing? All right, it's super easy. It just has these snaps. This is the front. What is beeping? Okay, Oliver, stop it. It's not a toy. You can't really see. Okay. So it goes over him like this, and then puppy stop. And then his foot goes through the hole. <laughs> All you use the foot goes through the hole. Okay. Stand up straight, please. Oh, and the other foot. Okay. And then we gotta get your back feet. Hey, stop it. Don't eat it. Stop it. Don't eat it. Copper, you're blocking the view. Oh. Okay. So we got one button. And now this goes into the back foot. Okay. Why do you lick so much? And then we have to get the other back foot. Honestly, for a dog that's never worn clothes before, Oliver is very, very tolerant of this. Okay. And then we just gotta button the rest. Copper, are you jealous or something? You that jealous, buddy? Okay, that's it. You all dressed. Check it out. 
Oh my god, you're so cute. Look at that little face. Look at that little man. <laughs> we went to a coffee bar like with him dressed up like this. Oh, it's so cute. All right, copy. Calm down. Copy, calm down. You just can't wait to get your freaking flannel on, can you? Sit. Okay. Good boy. Why do you make this so hard? Why is my life so hard? <laughs> come here, cop. Come here, cop. Okay, come here. Yay! I'm gonna get you one basset foot. One basset foot through the hole. Good boy. And then we gotta get you other basset foot through the hole. Good boy. Wait, come here. Good boy. One foot, one foot, and the other foot. Oh my god. So there's a two feet in, and then we just gotta buckle it. And this is where it gets just a little tight around his chest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oliver! <laughs> oh man, I should have asked someone to help me film this. I really can't see what I'm doing. Sorry, right, we're completely out of frame. Okay, that's it. Okay guys, you look so good. Oh my gosh. How do you how do you feel? How do you feel? Come here, let's get in front of the tree. Get in front of the tree, come on. Get in front of the tree. Copper, come on. Come here, come here. Good boys. Stay, stay, stay. Oh wow, look at that, stay. Freaking models, <laughs> you guys are perfect. I really don't think they mind wearing the clothes. It's interesting because this size that Copper's wearing is supposed to fit a lab, but as you can see, it is a little, just a little tight, like around his chest. I think it's just his body shape though. And then Oliver, he's wearing an extra small and it's said in the size guide, ah, let's go outside. <laughs> I said in the size guide that Oliver pooped on that, so we gotta wash that again. I said on the size guide that an extra small would fit a chihuahua and a small would fit a shih tzu, but he's wearing the extra small and it's a little big on him actually. Oh my God, where are you guys going? They're like, okay, so we get to go somewhere now that we're dressed? I guess you can. Okay, I guess we'll go places together. You guys can come to work with me. Oh, you guys are so handsome. <laughs> I mean, are you guys freaking out as much as I am? Like, they're so cute. They're so cute. It's such a beautiful day too. Look how blue the sky is. I love this weather. When it gets nice and chilly like this, it's like I can live in Florida. It's just so muggy sometimes, I hate it, but this is, this makes it all worth it. Um, what are you guys doing? Yay, Copy, come on. Good boy. Oliver, I don't know why Oliver keeps jumping on top of him. We got two models. You guys belong in a catalog, you little douches. Hi. Oh. Wow, you guys look fantastic. You guys look so good. 10 out of 10 matching pajamas. Perfect. 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 All right, so I guess that that's all the Christmas themed stuff that I have to show you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you're not in the holiday spirit yet, I recommend that you go bake some freaking holiday cookies or you go light your menorah. Hanukkah starts soon. I think next week it starts, yeah? And go get a Christmas tree and do that and play some music, spin the dreidel, do all the things and you'll probably feel better. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing the dogs in their cute little pajamas as much as I did. I'm gonna try and get some pictures of them. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see them. I'll post them when I'm done. 
and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe it helps me so much and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified next time i upload a video i upload super inconsistently so that's the only way that you'll know if i have a new video out sorry i said it before but i'll say it one more time if you are going through a hard time this year just know that you are not alone i love you and if you need to talk i'm here for you follow me on instagram message me i love you so much bye